Welcome to another fun video here on my channel. It's me, Stephanie, aka Zill308, and guess what? I'm not in my house. Okay guys, so I'm actually on a road trip with my crew, my homies, my work family. I'm actually in San Francisco as we speak. I have to get a video out, so I'm just doing it in my room here in our little rented villa. First sweater of the season right here. The pamphlet. So Halloween is coming up and I don't know about you guys, but I have no idea what to be. I actually don't ever really dress up for Halloween. I cosplay, so I feel like I dress up all the time, every part of the year anyway. I, I never really like have a costume for Halloween and it just kind of bums me out a little bit. So I did some research and I found the craziest costumes that I've ever seen in my entire life, and they all came from one site, Yandy.com. Have you guys ever heard of it? If you've ever looked at a BuzzFeed crazy costume list, sexy watermelon, sexy banana, sexy taco, sexy pizza, most of those costumes are from Yandy.com. To my surprise, Yandy actually has some really interesting and fun costumes too, and also some costumes that I totally do not get at all. Like, I don't even know what that is. What I decided to do today is talk about the top five most ridiculous costumes on Yandy.com and also the top five coolest costumes on Yandy.com. So that's a total of 10 costumes. And also as a bonus, I have a couple that I actually did not know what they were. Like they do not translate to a costume. I'm gonna see if you guys can get them. It's a little game. You know, a really fun little game of play. It's, it's fun. That's what fun is. Let's get started and kick it off with the top five craziest, weirdest randomness. I don't even know why that's a costume list. Number one, this credit card costume. Whoa. Ooh, I'm so fancy my credit card. I like love money. This is like the lamest non-original costume I've ever seen in my entire life. And also, why would you want to be a credit card? That means that you buy things for other people, you don't get them. I, I just don't understand why you'd want to be something that can open up doors, you know, like like MacGyver would use. MacGyver definitely uses credit cards in 99.9% .9 of his TV shows. Number two, operation game in costume form, yay. I don't even really think that this translates to the game very well. I just think it's kind of a weird message to send. Uh, there's definitely a box like on her vagina. Someone was like, yes, this is a good idea. Yes, let's approve this. Yes, let's make it. Yes, let's sell it. Yeah, let's, I'll buy that. Like that's the process. Five steps here. Number three, Nintendo's Game Boy. <laughs> this isn't a costume because I definitely bought this dress at Hot Topic like seven years ago. I feel like I've seen this costume a million times at conventions, whether it be Comic Con or game conventions or anything. Girls definitely wear a, this type of tank dress out. It is not a costume. You want to wear head to toe gray? That's so boring, it's Halloween, let's have some color. Could be a cool costume maybe if it like lit up on the game screen. Kind of cool maybe, but still not redeemable, but better. Number four is Cookie Monster. Couldn't you tell that was Cookie Monster? Actually, I couldn't until I noticed she was holding a cookie, which thank goodness for that prop department for helping me discover what your costume is because I would not equate furry Muppet with weird formulated mesh dress, but thanks to that prop of cookie, I was able to figure it out, so good job. This costume is barely furry at all. It's only on the rim part. Don't, don't leave comments about that. On the neckline of the outfit is furry, but everywhere else is like not. There's nothing like Muppety about it at all. I was expecting something a little bit more Raver-esque if you're gonna do Cookie Monster, you know, with the hood and then the, the fuzzy things and everything's fuzzy. And number five is actually for the men out there, the gentlemen. It's what I like to call bro bear. Yo, what's up girl? I'm a bear. It's Halloween, yo. It reminds me of that one meme of that really like bro, like that bro meme, you know? It reminds me of bro meme if he like was going out to a costume party, he would wear this. Oh, that is so cool. There's a moth right now on my window screen. It is like the coolest thing. I love you, moth. Sorry, I get distracted. And also if you notice, on his knees is where the little feet of his bear end. I'm not really sure what that means. Like, does, is he supposed to get on his knees and like walk around and be like weird short bear? Maybe it's the model that's making me feel like bro bear. I'm gonna try to do his face. 
If you're gonna be a bear, go for the whole freaking thing. Like, not like this wife beater issue. Yeah, wear a wife beater with your costume. That's always classy. Now it's time to talk about the top five coolest costumes on Yandy.com. Number one, the pop art girl. I really like how they have the word bubble as a beret. Obviously, you guys can tell, like a beret. This is great for all my makeup lovers out there who can really get creative. And also, please note that they darkened the hairline on this model because that's very accurate. I always enjoy seeing the artistry of pop art comic book girls. So this choice is always a winner for me because the makeup is just so amazing looking. Number two, I love a weird news story, let me tell ya. This is this woman who proclaimed that she has had a third breast augmentation so she could have three boobs because she wanted to be not attractive to men anymore. I was totally like obsessed with her for a little bit. This costume is totally based on her, which is like so funny, amazing. The pop culture reference is right on point and it's so 2014. It's perfect for Halloween. Number three. So I've seen a lot of amazing cosplayers get super creative with the characters that they love and I love crossplay when you play with the gender of a character. And this one is totally for my crossplayers out there. It is a really cool looking version of the Joker. Love how they tailored the suit into a pretty cool looking bodysuit. It has those colors totally and when you do the makeup, it's going to be a really amazing and super creepy interpretation of everyone's favorite villain, the Joker. Number four! It is a Wonder Woman inspired outfit, but it's done in the Amazon princess style, like gladiator woman. It is awesome! Wouldn't you want to be a superhero gladiator Amazon babe? I love the huge hair and the boots are amazing. And I just want to go to war with this woman. Forget Halloween. Number five. It is a really cool Vikings thing, costume, that's what we're doing here. Get it together. Halloween is cold, okay? You're out there at night, and you're wearing a jacket, you're messing up your whole outfit. So, what you're gonna do next is you're gonna have an outfit that is prepared for the elements, which would be this one. It has an awesome cape, it has furry little coverings for your legs, and, oh no it doesn't, it doesn't have that at all. And I love how the head, hat, hat, that's the word, hat. I love how the hat, sits and it looks really authentic. Even the little shield looks like really worn and cool and like If you're just wearing it for Halloween for one time, I mean, why not look badass, right? It's pretty cool. So, all right, so now you guys know my least favorite and most favorite costumes on Yandy.com, but next up I'm gonna throw out a little surprise for you, a little twist. I'm gonna show you some costumes and I'm gonna give you a few seconds to figure out what they are because I actually had no idea what they were when I was scrolling around on their site and I was like, what? So here's the first one. What do you think that is? Could it be a maid? It's actually a sexy Venus flytrap. Now it's time for you guys to guess the next one. Any idea what that might be? Maybe a Sims naked character? It's actually a troll doll from the 90s. So let me know what you guys think about this one. Okay, it's like orange and black and white, so those are colors of Halloween, so maybe it's like a sexy pumpkin or sexy pumpkin candy, maybe candy corn. It's actually a sexy clownfish. I'm just gonna let you think about that for a little bit. And here's another weirdo outfit. Let me know if you guys can guess this one. Ooh, maybe like sexy licorice or sexy candy. Ooh, so tasty. It's actually sexy wetsuit. Yeah, like, a dolphin trainer. The whole point of a wetsuit is it's actually a suit, not wet dress. It doesn't make any sense. It's just not right. Okay, we are done. Would you wear any of the costumes that I talked about today? Or have you worn any of the costumes I talked about? Or like, what are you planning on wearing? I have so many questions. I want you to answer all of them. You know I love you, and I'm sending you a bunch of virtual hugs. And no matter what you do for Halloween, have fun, be safe, get a lot of candy, and maybe save some for me because you know I love candy. Twix is my favorite. So if you like this video, please comment, subscribe, like, share, care, and of course send me some positive vibes because I'll send you some positive vibes. Here we go, brainwave. And until then, I will see you right here on my channel because that's where I am. Bye.